The South Korean government demanded the immediate withdrawal of North Korean troops allegedly deployed in Russia, warning the government will not stand by. South Korean Deputy National Security Advisor Kim Tae-hyo spoke at a news conference Tuesday afternoon following a National Security Council meeting. If this illegal cooperation between North Korea and Russia continues the government will not stand by, and it will respond in a firm manner with the international community, he said. Kim also said response measures would be taken in steps but did not specify the measures that may be taken. South Korea's spy agency said Friday it had confirmed that North Korea sent 1,500 special operation forces to Russia this month to support Moscow's war in Ukraine. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky also said his government had intelligence that 10,000 North Korean soldiers were being prepared to join invading Russian forces. Cooperation between North Korea and Russia has flourished over the past two years. The US, South Korea, and their partners have accused North Korea of supplying conventional arms to Russia in return for economic and military assistance. In June, Kim and Russian President Vladimir Putin signed a pact stipulating mutual military assistance if either country is attacked. Chokwamia, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov called Monday reports of alleged North Korean troop deployment to Russia, contradictory information. South Koreans say one thing, the Pentagon says it has no confirmation of such statements, there is a lot of contradictory information, Peskov said during a conference call with reporters on Monday. Probably, it must be treated as such, he added. South Korea's spy agency said Friday it had confirmed that North Korea sent 1,500 special operation forces to Russia this month to support Moscow's special military operation in Ukraine. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky earlier said his government had intelligence that 10,000 North Korea soldiers were being prepared to join Russian forces. North Korea the Democratic People's Republic of Korea is our close neighbor, our partner, and we are developing our relations in all fields. It is our sovereign right, Peskov stressed. Asked about former U.S. President Donald Trump's comments in which he said that he once threatened to strike Moscow in a conversation with Russian President Vladimir Putin, Peskov responded that, we prefer to take a very responsible position of not making top-level conversations public. Regrettably, Quite a few global leaders don't share this position and don't respect information hygiene. Let it stay on their conscience, Peskov said. Now, a lot of heated emotional statements could be heard in the United States during the election campaign, particularly in its final stages, he added. И мы развиваем наши отношения во всех областях. И это наше суверенное право. И это ни у кого не должно вызывать каких-то обеспокоенностей. Потому что это сотрудничество не направлено против третьих стран. Мы будем развивать это сотрудничество и дальше. Мы видим много противоречивой информации. Южные корейцы заявляют одно. Пентагон заявляет, что они не имеют подтверждения таким высказываниям. Поэтому много противоречивой информации. Наверное, так к ней надо относиться. Мы по-прежнему предпочитаем заявлять очень ответственную позицию в плане непридания публичности содержания разговоров, которые ведутся на высшем уровне. К нашему сожалению, целый ряд мировых лидеров такой позиции не придерживаются и такую информационную гигиену в данном случае не соблюдают. Но это на их совести. Сейчас звучит очень много разных э, горячих и весьма эмоциональных заявлений в Соединенных Штатах в рамках избирательной кампании, особенно, особенно ее финальной стадии.
U.S. and Canadian warships sailed through the Taiwan Strait on Sunday, almost a week after China held massive war games around Taiwan. The destroyer USS Higgins and the Canadian frigate HMCS Vancouver made a routine transit of the Taiwan Strait meant to uphold the principle of freedom of navigation for all countries, read a statement Monday by the U.S. Navy's 7th Fleet. The U.S. Navy, occasionally joined by ships from allied countries, regularly transits the sensitive waterway separating China from Taiwan. China condemned the maneuver, saying it undermined peace and stability in the region. China claims Taiwan as its own territory. China's People's Liberation Army's Eastern Theater Command said it mobilized naval and air forces to monitor the transit of the U.S. and Canadian ships, in accordance with the law. The transiting ships navigated through waters where high seas freedom of navigation and overflight apply in accordance with international law, read the U.S. Navy 7th Fleet Statement. The international community's navigational rights and freedoms in the Taiwan Strait should not be limited, it added. It comes after China conducted large-scale military exercises surrounding Taiwan and its outlying islands last Monday, simulating the sealing off of key ports in a move that underscores the tense situation in the Taiwan Strait.